happy Sunday. Happy WrestleMania Sunday, everybody. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I gotta be honest, I slept a good chunk this morning. I woke up early so I could edit the video from yesterday, and went through like hours of footage to try to pull out what ended up being like 35 minutes. So I know it was super long yesterday, um, and then ended up sitting down for a minute and woke up like another three hours later, so I guess I needed some sleep. But in the meantime, I had booked a bunch of fast passes for Magic Kingdom. Planned on getting out there to watch the parade and watch a whole bunch of stuff and just slept through everything. So that's the way today's going. Hey, while well, L.O. Black is opening up WrestleMania here, uh, if you live in Central Florida, you can go see him live at Bush Gardens at the end of April. We won't be around, but you guys can go check him out. Food and wine, Bush Gardens. So before the show starts, let's get a couple predictions. We've got Jesse the Brain and me. Um, Brock versus um, Roman Reigns. I mean, I forget who he is because Roman Reigns is so freaking boring. Who do you got? Roman Reigns. Unfortunately, I'm a huge Brock Lesnar fan. As you guys know, I didn't buy my Jimmy Johns today, so I broke the whole thing. So we're gonna test this out. We eat Jimmy Johns every time that Brock fights UFC or WWE. I didn't buy it today because I had to have pizza this afternoon. As a result. Brock Lesnar is going to lose. I firmly believe tonight uh, Seth Rollins is going to come out of this as champion somehow. He's going to cash in the briefcase. Roman Reigns for the win, perhaps. Okay. Sting against Triple H. Sting. I'm going Triple H. I think that Sting came here and, and Triple H is going to make uh, an example out of him, and that's it. Sting goes down. We've got Undertaker against Bray Wyatt. I forgot who the second one was. Bray Wyatt. Yeah. I don't know who that is. The crazy guy with the family with the big oh, beard. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot the first person. <laughs> Undertaker. <laughs> um, uh, well, Undertaker's old, so I'll go with Bray Wyatt. Oh, Even though he's, he's my favorite, but still, like, he's old. He can't do it. Undertaker is like 103 years old now, and he comes out once a year, they find him under a rock somewhere, but he will win tonight, because he lost last time to Brock Lesnar, WWE is going to try to make things up to him, even though they ruined his whole streak thing, and you know, the reason why he existed, they think that they're going to be able to bring him back and put him over, uh, you know, Bray Wyatt, fantastic, Undertaker wins, um, We've got this intercontinental ladder match, which is ridiculous, with all these guys that the WWE are grossly mishandling uh, at this point and misbooking. Uh, some of the highlights in the match, we've got Wade Barrett, we've got Dean Ambrose, uh, Daniel Bryant, um, Dolph Ziggler. Who do you got, Jess? Uh, I'm going to go with Ziggler. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with Ziggler also, only because... Putting that intercontinental belt on Daniel Bryan is ridiculous. He's a heavyweight guy. You can't ruin him even worse by putting an intercontinental belt on him. That's kind of like the Walmart of belts. Oh yeah, so we also have uh, Seth Rollins and um, Randy Orton. What do you think about that one? I'm going to go Randy Orton also. You know, I like Seth Rollins. He's probably my favorite guy going right now in uh, the WWE full-time. But I give it to Orton because the WWE folks seem to love Randy Orton. Ah, uh, yes. We also have uh, one other match. Rusev and John Cena. Oh, Rusev. I'm going Rusev. Um, yeah, no one likes John Cena. He's the worst. So... And Rusev is another product of uh, NXT. We gotta go NXT in this place. And then the last match uh, that we have to go through is the Bellas versus Paige and AJ. What? Bellas and Paige and AJ. Uh, the, uh, the, the AJ. I'll pick Paige and AJ. Oh, Mary's back there. Yeah, Paige! Yep. You see Mary's tiny head back there, wandering. I'm gonna go, uh, Paige and AJ also. Even though the Bellas, they only get booked to win because of their relationship with um, Cena and Daniel Bryan anyway. They are awful. So those are our predictions. We'll see how we do afterwards. So this is over. Spoiler alert. Sting lost. I thought it was one of the best overbooked matches I've ever seen before. 
all of these guys were big for me drinking Monday nights in the 90s, single life. This was awesome. Mary has made us a ton of unhealthy crap to eat during WrestleMania. Looks like spinach rolls, uh, pretzels, mozzarella sticks, seven layer dip, salsa, and Tostitos. Marinara. Oh, marinara. So we're up to the Bray Wyatt Undertaker match. Mary's sleeping. I'm doing my best trying to stay awake. This is really awful. And we still gotta watch The Walking Dead after this because I'm looking at Twitter and it's ridiculous how many spoilers are out there already. So there's a lot of, a lot of people complaining, probably by the time this video is up, that this happened. But I am so happy. So, so happy. She's very happy too, despite sleeping. Everyone is happy. You know, you get Lesnar, doesn't lose. Reigns doesn't win. And in the end, Rollins wins, which is a big win for NXT and for Florida. FCW, NXT, Orlando. I couldn't be any happier. The best guy who should be carrying the company right now has that belt. And for as fake as wrestling is, and as much as I invest too much time into this, I'm really happy. So Walking Dead we watched. I thought it was pretty good for a season finale. What'd you think? It was good. I'm not on the picture though. <laughs> you gotta lift it up a little bit further. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> What'd you think? It was pretty good. I thought it was a great way to end the season. I think the show is kind of limping along, but it adds promise for next year. You know, it looks like we've got um, some good stuff in the pipeline. I'm not gonna sit and spoil it for folks. I looked at Twitter tonight and I saw so many different people like um, live tweeting The Walking Dead and, and giving away spoilers, and I think that that's. Um, awful for a TV show that most of the time folks are not able to watch unnecessarily at the time that something's airing so you know again um, 72 hour rule so if you're gonna post comments about the show um, please don't post any spoilers for folks that have not been able to watch it yet for 72 hours or so you know so give it a couple days um, then tell me what you um, thought about the specifics of the show but for now I thought it was a good way to end the, the year I can't wait till next year so I'm going to head to sleep now though, so because we got to get up super early and go back to work, and it's late, so WrestleMania, thought it was really good, I liked uh, the ending a lot, NXT, uh, Orlando representing pretty big on the show, uh, Walking Dead pretty good, end of the weekend pretty good, even though um, didn't really move all that much today, and do all that much, but sometimes you need those days, so I'm going to get back to it tomorrow. On that note, thanks for all the likes, thanks for the comments, thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night.